This is one of the most requested videos. It's how to design a crown under a partial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I also have a Patreon page if you want to support the channel. I see a lot of labs hand waxing a crown under a partial, scanning this wax in and then milling this in Ziconia or in Emacs. So today I'm going to show you two ways how to create a crown under a partial digitally. One of the most important parts is to scan in the partial correctly. I recommend to position the partial in a 45 degree angle on the scanning plate to avoid any holes or artifacts. Usually the partial is not aligned to the model. I usually scan it in as an additional wax up scan and the partial onto the model as a pre-preparation scan. The pre-preparation scan is usually aligned to the preparation scan, but it is very difficult to create a clean scan of the clasp adjacent to the prep. Therefore, we have to align the partial scan to the preparation scan. That is usually very easy because we have a lot of reference points and it shouldn't be very difficult. Once the alignment is complete, click OK and what we get as a result is a clean scan of the partial, especially the class, onto the preparation scan. Before we get started with the first method, I'm isolating the partial scan and I'm exporting it as a single STL file so I can use it at a later point. I'm making sure it is saved out in the same coordinate system as the preparation scan. Now I'm exporting partial scan and preparation scan as one file in the same coordinate system. To use this new file in my design, I have to import it as an extra JAW scan. You can use this method for other purposes as well and this was one of my questions in the comment sections how to swap out jaw scans if you already have designed a crown. The key is to align the preparation scans and swap out and replace the entire scan data. Now that we have a new preparation scan with a clean partial scan especially as a class, we can design our crown as usual. One of my favorite features in ExtraCAD is probably the the margin detection. It's very easy just by clicking on it. Under tools placement, I'm usually using free axis scaling and holding the shift and control button, as well as the instant morphing tool to position and cast and move tooth areas. I'm making sure the partial rest is fully immersed into the occlusal surface before I hit adapt in the menu. Then under free form, I'm selecting adapt and I'm clicking on static occlusion to check the occlusion and on a proximal context to dial in the proximal context. If I'm removing now the jaw skin, I can see there are a lot of artifacts. So I have a lot of cleanup to do here. You can see that this method works, but it's not really ideal. So I'm going to show you a second version. Let's get rid of all the design parts that we have and start completely over by importing our original jaw scan without the partial in place. Again, I'm importing the extra jaw scan and I'm loading my original jaw scan, aligning it and swapping it out with the entire scan data. Now I'm going to the crown design again and using the separate partial scan as a guide. So the separate partial scan is not into the scan itself, it is a separate scan I can use as a guide. I'm using again the free access tool to position the crown in the right order. I'm using the free morphing tool to position the crown. I'm usually making it a little bit more flat and I'm making sure that everything is adapted nicely. Now under free form, I'm getting rid of the high occlusal spots by adapting the static occlusion. I'm also adapting the proximal context under proximal and I'm making sure that the occlusal rest of the partial is fully embedded into the crown. With the add on remove tool and holding shift, I'm cleaning up the areas where the crown is overlapping the occlusal rest. Under anatomic and tooth parts, I'm reducing the space between crown and facial clasp. Then I'm right clicking on the partial scan and select edit mesh, position the partial in a way that the major connector is not intersecting with the clasp and selecting only the clasp and the occlusal rest. Make sure the proximal area is fully selected and there are no holes. Then I'm inverting the selection and clicking delete so only the clasp and the occlusal rest of the partial remain in the scan. 
Now I can export the scan as a STL and save it in the same coordinate system as before. In order to cut out the occlusal rest and the class from the crown, I am importing the scan as an antagonist. If there comes a warning that the antagonist is already in place, you can ignore this because we want to exchange the antagonist in this case. Click yes in the pop-up menu and click OK to exit the add and remove mesh function. Then we're going to go to freeform, go to adapt and going to static occlusion and approximal again. If we reduce the preparation scan, we can see that the occlusal rest and the class were exactly reduced from the crown preparation. If we need a little bit more relief under the rest and the class, we can increase the settings of the static occlusion and the approximal. That is up to you and how much relief you would like to have. If you're milling it in Zirconia and you have a 5 axis mill, you will probably get a good representation of the design to the final crown. If you are milling it in a ceramic mill, I would probably add more relief. Then we're going to take the smoothing tool and we are smoothing out the areas a little bit more. If there are any interfaces, you can remove the interfaces by clicking on remove interfaces. Click on merge and save to finish the design. You can then get it into production and mill it out. I hope you liked this video and you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done it so far. If you want to support the channel, I have a Patreon page. I have a link in the description. I also have a Patreon shop where you can download various stuff. You can download manuals, you can download libraries. Or if you just want to become a Patreon member and support the channel, I'm always appreciative of that. Until then, stay tuned.